This is called the round band bonnet, rough fold hair bonnet. This is the pleated one, and this is the guided hair bonnet. So, guys, hello, beautiful people. You all welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blessing. So, this place or this page, we are all for the creativity and lifestyle. We add beauty to everything that we do over here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give you details on how you can do all the types of hair bonnets. So if you are looking forward to start with your hair bonnet business, then please let's get started. Here are the types of hair bonnets that I am going to give you tutorials on how you can achieve them neatly packaged for you to also get money out of it. So we have the raffled hair bonnet. For this, I've already uploaded the video on my channel. So if you still want to make such beautiful reversible hair bonnets, then please you can go and check that video. We also have this one. This one also comes with a band. It's also reversible. Very nice, neatly done. And then we have the pleated hair bonnets. This is how it comes. This is how it looks like. See, this is the pleated hair bonnet. It's also reversible. And then with the pleated or the self adjustment, we also have a different one. That's the guidance. Yes, very soft. So if this is what you are looking for, then here are the tools that you need. In order to achieve any hair bonnet, okay, you need a circle. You know, hair bonnets comes in a form of a circle before we gather it and we achieve that round look. So you need a circle of the sizes would depend on how you want it. Either big, small, or normal. So please, you can have a look at it. This is size 14. So I'll upload how you can achieve this in different sizes once we are done. After you've gotten the circle, you need your tape measure, a ruler, and then you also need one of these ones to take your hair circumference measurement that's around your head okay and not only that but this one will also help you to fit fix it and take pictures of them for advice adverts yes so that is that so please let's get started okay so please let's make our pattern for the hair bonnets so you need a cardboard paper a tape measurement you need a paper scissors and a marking chalk and a long ruler. So after you've gotten all these things, you have to take measurements of the head circumference, which would depend on the person you are going to do it for. But at the normal circumstances, we normally use 22 and 23. That's the standard measurement for an adult head circumference. So you use your tape measure to measure the round of the client's or the person's head. Then you use that to take your measurements. That is that. So here you see the... Measurement was 22. Okay, so you fold, supposing this is your fabric, you have to fold it into four. 
but to get the four sides you have to put it on the other side first after you put it on it again then you fold it finally so where you have after you have gotten this shape okay or you folded it into this you take your measurements that's i said we are using 14 uh if your hair bonnet is large enough then it's gonna look beautiful especially when you have braided your hair so i'm using 14 here but you can use any size of your taste okay you can use size 12 size 13 even 20 depending on how big or large you want it so you use that same measurement you take it throughout okay from the end to the other end then please you come down nicely and you cut it so that's what that's what i'm doing now you cut it nicely then after you are done cutting it you use this uh what do we call this pattern to measure on your fabric either being a setting or your african print okay you have to get two of it that's why i said the hair bonnet is reversible okay all right so here because we are doing the pleated one and then the guidance one the one with that long tail that is the self adjustment uh-huh you will need 70 to length okay and the width you can use six or seven depending on how big you want your your tie to look like and that long thing you have to add it to your hair bonnet after you are done cutting your 72 long tail of your self adjustment hair bonnet you have to fold it into two okay you fold it into two because it is long you have to fold it like this to get that shape nice shape so you cut this one too after cutting it you see because it is reversible you want your hair bonnet to look very neat very very neat so after you have to get or take a uh, half half an inch on each side that is where we are going to put the hair bonnet edges in it to secure that area so that is that for our pattern so today i'm going to we are going to do the pleated hair bonnet then tomorrow I will upload the remaining ones one by one. So guys, that is that for today.